In this video, we are going to see how to do a freehand sketch. Now there are two pictures given here. This is the first object and then this one is the second image. We are going to make a freehand sketch. Now to do, to do this drawing, I'm going to use an A3 sheet. I'm going to draw one of these objects on the left and one of these objects on the right. So the first thing that you have to do is, if it's a freehand sketch, it means that we are not going to use any drawing tools. So this is an isometric view and this is also isometric. So let's see how to draw the isometric freehand sketch of the given objects. So as usual, before you start, we are going to make the border. As you already know how to make the border, I am going to fast forward this step. Okay, we have drawn the border and we don't need the T square anymore because we are going to do freehand sketching. Now this is the first picture. I am keeping the picture as a reference somewhere like this. Now we start drawing from this end, from this corner. So I'll keep it somewhere so that I can see freely, right. Then draw a line of 30 degrees and then draw another rough line like this of 30 degrees and one perpendicular line like this, which is representing the three axes, which is X axis, Y axis and the Z axis. This is just going to be a reference line, so something like this, right. Then start drawing it. I'll keep the drawing for your reference somewhere here. So I'm just drawing, going to draw as it is given in the drawing. Now as this is a freehand sketch, there is no specific uh, measurements. You have to just draw it approximately to the dimensions. Okay, I'm doing it like this. And then there is a line which comes like this, like this. And then I'll close it like this, it became very thin. So try to adjust it. Right. Now, let us draw here. And then it goes a straight line. Something like this. I think it is too high. Let's reduce it a little bit. Somewhere like this. The next vertical. And so on. So this is how I am developing the structure. Now, the next thing is, I'll draw this particular line which goes like, like so, and then straight up, and something like this. Now, try to complete the square. It's okay if we make mistakes, we can always erase, erase it, like so. And then now let, it, let me try to complete this, it's going to be somewhere like this. I hope I have got it right. And that's how the drawing is supposed to be. That's our freehand sketch. Now, let us erase all the construction lines, whichever lines, isometric lines that we drew. I'm erasing all of it. So the structure looks like this. Now, after you have completed the drawing, then you can press the pencil firmly and then you can draw the lines. When you draw the lines, draw all the lines which are in the same axis. So for example, if I draw like this, then I'll draw this, I'll draw this, and then I'll finish it. And then this lines, now this is freehand sketching. We have completed the first drawing. Now let us do the second one. The second draw drawing is something like this, almost similar. The second drawing is this. 
So let me draw the second drawing in this area. Fine. Start the drawing the same way. Have a reference line. That's my horizontal reference line. Then I'll draw a line of 30 degrees. Then I'll draw a vertical line and again another line of 30 degrees. Now this is just roughly I'm drawing. Now you can always uh, move your move your paper so that you are comfortable. Now the other thing which I would if it if it is very difficult for you to draw like this, you can always try to rotate the paper. When you initially draw, let the lines be light. So I'll do like this, and then there is a line here. You can always refer to the picture and then I'll turn it. I'll draw the vertical lines. Okay, I think this is vertical. Right. And then it goes like this. So this is freehand sketching. So see that the angles are almost okay. You don't have to be perfectly right with your angles, but it has to be almost correct. So go ahead. Now let us draw this side. somewhere here there you go and that's the angle that's the angle and then I go down like this then try to extend this line and your drawing is complete so now what you can do is you can erase all the unwanted construction lines your drawing is looking like so so what I did is I just did a rough sketch using very thin and light lines now you can uh, give some pressure and draw it now you can see that these lines are of the same angle isn't it so you can draw all those lines together like this, like this, like this. Similarly, once you, you want to draw this side, so I am drawing like this. And now I will draw all the vertical lines. I think I missed one line here and I missed a line here. That's it. So that's your freehand sketch. Now you can erase all the unwanted construction lines. So that's it.